Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man, back with a monthly theme Thursday review of Death Spa. This month's theme is Evil Inanimate Objects, and Death Spa may be the ultimate movie in that category. Released in 1988, Death Spa is filled with pure 80s nostalgia. For those of you unaware, the alternate title for Death Spa is Witch Bitch. This here, by the way, as you can see, is my Gorgon Clamshell VHS release of the film. The movie is set in a popular L.A. health club. The place is preparing for a special event, a Mardi Gras party. In the days leading up to it, though, strange accidents begin occurring. Some of those accidents become deadly. Speaking of which, can I just point out, you'll sweat blood is an amazing tagline for this movie. Death Spa is pretty much a slasher film, with various evil inanimate objects as the killers. There's a deadly sauna steam pipe, a deadly diving board, the communal shower, chock full of gratuitous nudity, of course, killer weight machines, lockers in the locker room, a blender, and more. Pick an inanimate object you might find in a health club, and it's evil in Death Spa. The owner, Michael, whose wife committed suicide, believes someone is trying to sabotage his club. Could it be his former brother-in-law, who holds Michael responsible for his sister's death? Is it his shady lawyer, or another employee of the club? Or are the inanimate objects actually evil, due to some sort of curse? Ultimately, Death Spa is a haunted house movie meets slasher flick. This is an 80s time capsule. From the look of the club, with all of those glass bricks, to the style, to the music. The kills are gory and gruesome, and the practical effects are amazing. The third act features a massacre at the health club. It's complete carnage. It reminds me of the club massacre in Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Of course, Death Spa came before that sequel, so I guess the club massacre in Hellraiser 3 reminds me of Death Spa. As I briefly mentioned, we do get gratuitous nudity galore. Topless, rare, full frontal, we get it all. I love the health club setting, and I love the Mardi Gras costume party. The characters are cheesy, but the good 80s slasher kind of cheesy. The women are beautiful, which only enhance those nude scenes. Ken Foray has a small role, and there are a couple of other familiar faces as well. One of them is Karen Parsons, Hilary Banks, from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, in her first feature film role. The entertainment value of this one is through the roof. It's so much fun. As far as evil inanimate objects movies go, this truly might be the ultimate example. Which one is Jason reviewing today? Please be sure to check out his video to find out. Have you seen Death Spa? If so... What do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Which evil inanimate object movie will I review next? Check back next week to find out. Until then, remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>